hello guys i hope all of you will be fine so from today we have been starting another course and that is related to the solution of the exercise problems of probability and statistics for engineers and scientists by walpole okay so uh, this is basically the first chapter which is the introduction to statistics and data analysis and uh, the exercise problem we have been going to solve today is basically 1.1 okay so what is it basically so the following measurements were recorded for the drawing time okay in hours of a certain brand of latex paint okay so these are basically the samples so what do we have to do assume that the measurements are a simple random sample okay so these are basically the randomly collected sample and what do we have to do we have to answer the questions or the part of these questions which are from a to f so what is a so a is what is the sample size for the above sample okay so the sample size here is we have to count the number of samples so there these are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay so these are the answer of part a is here we have the answers and the answer of part a is 15 so the answer of part a is 15 similarly in part b we have to ask it to calculate the sample mean for this data so we have these data and uh, we have to find the sample mean for it and previously i have shown you that what is mean by a sample mean so if you want to find out a mean what do we have to do we have the data points which are x i we have to sum them all and then divide them over the number of the items what we have so here we have n equal to 15 okay this is basically n so n is 15 and what do we have to do i have to sum them all together let me sum them here and summing them here what i will get here these it would be 3.4 plus 2.5 plus 4.8 okay and up to the word up to the final sample which is here this is 4.8 and we have to add them all together and divide them over word or n which is 50 okay so uh, as i have done it myself you can try it yourself uh, it as well so adding them together what i will get adding them together and then uh, dividing it over 15 i will get 3.79 which is the what which is the sample mean of my data okay so this is the answer of part b for part c what do we have to see calculate the sample median so uh, what is the difference between mean and median so mean is the uh, average of the data what we have while median is basically the midpoint on the mid sample okay so to find out the median of our data we should have to follow some steps and what are those steps so initially what do we have to do steps are first step is uh, sort the data okay we have to sort the data so we have a data and we have to sort it and then after sorting it we have to write it and as i have previously sorted as well so let me write it here so writing it here with this color so let me write it here so sorted data i have is 2.5 2.8 2.5 2.9 okay 3.3 this is 3.3 3.4 okay uh, similarly 4.0 this is the sorted data 4.4 4.8 4.8 5.2 and 5.6 so this is the sorted data let me count it that 
these are 15 or not so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay so these are basically 15 data samples and now in order to find the mid of them as we have 15 so the right side data points and the left side data points should be equally divided okay so these will be equal in number so therefore uh, 7 will be at the right side of the midpoint or the median and while 8, 7 will be at the right side and 7 will be at the left side. So let me count them. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, similarly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So as 15 is the odd number, therefore the midpoint here will be this 3.6. So therefore, after sorting it, we have to find out what we have to after sorting the data if the number of points if the number of data points okay are odd okay then median will be what median will be the mid number will be at in the middle Similarly, the another case is if data is even. So, what do we have to do then? We have to take two mid numbers, okay? Mid one plus mid two and divide it over this two, and this will give me what? This will give me median for our data so now as we have only these are uh, this uh, is n is 15 so therefore the median for our data is what the answer of part c is median is what median is 3.6 so this is what this is the answer of part c okay. so these are all the uh, parts what do we with I have solved so far. So let me so now let me remove these parts. Okay. We have calculated mean, we have calculated median, and I have told you how to calculate them. After it, what is the next step? The next step we have will be the plotting the data by way of dot plots okay so in plotting our data what do we have to do let me have this black color so this is part d and here let me have this black line okay so let me start it from 2.5 okay and here we have let me have here 6.0 so uh, from 2.5, let me have here 3.0, then 3.5, then 4.0, 4.5, 5.0, and here 5.5. So we have these uh, ranges here. So now let me do what let me draw them here with this red color okay so the first point we have is 2.5 let me draw it here so this is 2.5 the second one is 2.8 which is near to this one so let me write it here the second one is also 2.8 okay the third one is 2.9 which is here uh, then 3.0 3.0 is here okay uh, then 3.3 which is almost here okay then 3.4 here okay then 3.6 we have 3.6 here 3.7 here 3.7 4.0 4.0 is here then 4.4 okay 4.8 which is here then 5.2 so uh, let me have 5.2 here and then 5.6 so what is this this is the plot of our data and we can see that 
this is almost uniformly distributed all the data points are uniformly distributed here this is the answer of part d uh, so uh, it is uh, for up to this point that we have discussed this question and in our upcoming video we will talk about part e and part f so i think it's enough for today and i will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video take care and i will see you soon